Newly instated Pakistan Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif is yet to announce his cabinet. There is no clarity on cabinet composition yet or if the PPP will be a part of the government. I'm going by Asif Ali Zadzari's uh, statement. He thinks Pakistan People's Party is unlikely to take any ministry. Zadari of Pakistan People's Party and a coalition partner in the new government. A couple of days ago, too, when Zadari was asked about the PPP's participation, he had said that the decision rested with the party chair, who happens to be Bilawal Bhutto Zadari. Ashraf Sharif but was constantly asked by reporters before the beginning of the session today on the PPP reluctance and Bilawal Bhutto's inclusion as likely foreign minister, to which he did not respond. It's understood that Pakistan People's Party is okay with the constitutional position of the Speaker, which they have in Raja Pervez Sharif. But now uh, they would rather support from the outside and face elections. The Speaker's office fell vacant after Sag Kais attended his resignation last week. The PPP lawmaker was a lone contender for the position, since no other candidate had submitted nomination papers against him. Now, there had been reports of Bilawal Bhutto taking up the foreign ministry in case of PPP inclusion as a part of the government. Otherwise, the portfolio may be rested with the Prime Minister Sharif's Pakistan Muslim League N senior like uh, Kawaja Asif. Now, the ruling PMLN wants to have a coalition cabinet with the PPP having a key share in the cabinet. The PMLN insiders suggest that a decision on the federal cabinet will be made soon. The dilemma for the Shahbaz Sharif government continues with a cabinet formation yet to be done despite of five days of him coming into power. Now, the Pakistan People's Party, we understand, is a bit apprehensive in taking the position uh, in the cabinet for one very reason. Uh, it is the biggest ally of this uh, coalition government, but uh, it understands that in case if uh, elections are called upon earlier than its designated time or even not if not earlier Pakistan is to go into election mode in less than six months from now and a year and a half later uh, in 2023 October is when general elections are scheduled to be held uh, given the gravity of the issues that the country is currently facing no party would want to take the onus of being uh, a part of the coalition and then campaign or go into campaign mode and that's what we're seeing a reflection of which we're seeing uh, both the mqm and the pakistan people's party are uh, a bit apprehensive uh, we understand that the pmln wants all of its allies to be part of this coalition government uh, to the part of the cabinet rather but uh, and uh, there have been talks back and forth some give and take but as we speak there hasn't been anything conclusive by either of the sides that can lead to the formation of the federal cabinet under the prime minister shahbaz sharif and Malik in Islamabad, pakistan for we on world is one we are now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move